Okay, so tell me a little bit about what you've been working on. It sounds like you have a lot of exciting projects going on. Yeah, oh my God, so many things. So uh, first of all, second season of my reality show, putting on is coming on every next Friday, July 3rd. And this season is really, it's been a huge project. Like season one was a bit of a pilot and it didn't take much time of my life. But season two, I took these cameras everywhere and I gave every aspect of my life from the bedroom to everywhere, anything. So I'm very excited to share it with people. I still working on my underwear company. Obviously, this is a work in progress. Always need to drop new styles, new designs, do photo shoots. It's like, it's my passion. So I really love it. And I'm very excited for the next styles that we're dropping. I'm constantly having meetings and fittings and so many things just to make it better and better because I want it to be amazing. And what else? Me and my husband are starting the OD Foundation. Um, that we're very thrilled and excited. And because of COVID, um, it slows down everything, but we are still in the game and it's gonna, hopefully we're gonna make change. So I'm excited for that. Just a lot of projects. <laughs> now that I'm like, when you ask me and I need to like say it, it's like, oh my God, it's a lot of things. <laughs> okay, let's start with top three. Start with the show. Tell me about the show. Um, so putting on, uh, it's a reality show uh, about my life. Season one was supposed to be kind of a documentary about me building an underwear company as an immigrant in America, 23 years old. Um, and then I was supposed to do it with my boyfriend that day, like for the days. And then we, he broke out with me two days before cameras came to my house to film documentary. And I, I kind of wanted to not do it, but the producer said, you actually got here something and you should just use it and let's just film and see what's happening. And then it became a reality show. Um, and season one was kind of like a pilot, as I said, and season two, just like diving in into my life. I met my husband for these days, like, you know, on the show, you'll see us engage, but Again, the drama follows my life always. So season two is full of drama as much as season one. Um, so I, I don't want to like spill all the tea because I want people to watch the show, but there is a lot, a lot of drama, personal life, business wise, everything. So I'm very excited for it. And season two is actually, it's a long season. It's like 30, 35 minute episodes, seven episodes. So it's not like season one that was just a few minutes episode. Um, and also Revy is growing and growing and becoming so big and it's actually going to be available for everybody anywhere. <laughs> um, besides Revy, also it's going to be on the Revy channel on Amazon Prime Video. So it's just going to be everywhere and I'm very excited to reach more people. I'm so excited for you. And importantly, are we going to see the wedding? Yeah, you'll see the wedding on, on the season two. I mean, it's just the wedding ceremony. I'm still going to have a party. Um, but again, because of what happened in the world, just things slows, slows down. But it will happen too. <laughs> Maybe in season three, um, yes. we'll, we'll have the wedding parties. <laughs> okay, and tell me a little bit about the underwear company. So the underwear company, Ammo Underwear, is my baby. I started it about three, four years ago. Um, I was just doing modeling my whole life, modeling and acting. And my, my, my father is a businessman. And when they came to visit me in New York after I finished uh, acting school, he kind of like asked me to do something with my life that's more than going to auditions and getting yes and no and no and yes. And he wanted something more like a business and right, right. underwear it's everything anew you know i i model underwear since i'm 14 years old so this is what i know to do um so we just started that my mission my goal is to make everybody feel really comfortable and sexy in their body no matter what gender uh like what body type what anything everybody is sexy in their own way and i want my my designs obviously to be comfortable. I'm all about basic. I think the basic is beautiful, um, as kitschy as it sounds. Um, but it's also when I design like every sewing, everything, every fabric that I choose, 
it's all about like it needs to fit to every body type and I, I think that we're doing a great job with that i'm also like you know my fit models are from all shapes and forms so it's just like this is it's a work in progress because i'm always like fixing and always fixing like i'll drop a design after months of working on it but i'll still want to change it later on because i just i want perfection and i want people to love it because there are so many underwear out there <laughs> don't i know it yeah <laughs> uh, where can we buy it where can people buy it um so we had a pop-up shop but it's mostly online on emmaunderwear.com um we are in we're selling in a few stores in the Middle East where I'm coming from, from Israel and in Europe. But um, this is something we are working on these days. Hopefully after now that life is kind of back to normal, we trying to place a few more stores. But we set online and worldwide shipping. So you can go everywhere. <laughs> You'll get, some will be coming to Pittsburgh. I'm predicting it's coming to Pittsburgh soon. i to buy some um, stuff from you. <laughs> um, I'll just send you. You know, thank easy. you. <laughs> thank we'll talk you. about it after this interview. <laughs> Sounds good. And what else? What else? What else can you tell me about what you've been doing? How do you balance this all? I mean, I'm getting tired just listening to you <laughs> because you're amazing. I mean, oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's just, I love to do. It's, it's a lot. And like, you know, I'm very. I'm newly married, you know, so I'm obviously putting so much effort in my home and in my relationship. And so this is the job itself. And the underwear is the job itself. And the reality show is the job itself. But for me, it's like, I don't need to sleep. I'll sleep later on when I'm much older. Like right now, I just want to keep running the role. This is like my dream to, to just be successful in everything I do. So I have all the passion. So that's that's the only way for me to to actually live like if i don't have like when the virus was like crazy and we were in quarantine i lost my mind i was at home and i didn't know what is it <laughs> exactly i think everybody felt that way but you're just such a strong person that you're amazing oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> don't tell your husband i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah it's okay. Yeah. He's going to like it. Just kidding. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> and tell me a fun fact about yourself that might surprise people. Um, well, I think it's a fun fact. My husband won't agree on it, but everybody thinks that I'm such a, like, because I'm very, m most of the time I'm nice and I'm laughing and I'm so sweet to every human being I meet. But I can be the craziest monster ever when I'm not getting what I want or when I'm getting, like, you know, upset about something. And my husband can, you, you will see it in season two. Uh, my husband is very clear about that, that, yeah, that I'm a little monster behind all the, the big smile. <laughs> Are you sure we're not related? I'm the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of, I think that everybody's like that, like... Yes, I think so, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're nice till, till we're getting upset. <laughs> yes, and if you really push too far... You, you, sh you shouldn't, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Someone that gets it, yeah. And since, yeah we're TV, <laughs> and since we're a TV site, what are you watching these days? Well, um, reality star obsessed. So, House of Beverly Hills... Kardashians and even though they're both stuffed because of the virus um, so I'm waiting for them to come back um, my husband is trying to get me to good Netflix shows so um, we were watching um, obviously Hollywood and wow I forgot the name of it maybe you know like the the one with the royal merchant have you heard about this show I know the Netflix? one you're talking about but the show's not coming to my head right now i'm gonna remember like yeah. three o'clock in the morning and yeah so if these people are like whoever is watching us right now um it's an amazing show it's about the royal marriage and something it's so good I, I was obsessed so i really hope that they're coming back with us another season it was one of the best shows um but yeah i'm more about reality shows but also um i'm trying to get into more like netflix serious shows <laughs> nice nice but my favorite show even though it's Pretty Liars, and I know it's so cheesy and so young, but I love it. 
I don't know. My sister it, loves it, that show too. Yeah, my sister loves oh my it God. too. It's it's my forever, forever favorite. <laughs> Guilty <Yes>. pleasure. <laughs> and you got to you got to tell me who's your favorite Beverly Hills housewife? Um, I would say probably Erica Jane. Or, or actually, you know what? The, after this season, Denise Denise Richards is. She's amazing. She's so real and she's so beautiful without all the plastic and she's she's so, uh, she's cool. I love her. <laughs> You're officially my BFF. Those are my two favorites too. Uh, I'm telling you, we, we, were, we were meant to like, talk. <laughs> meant to be, yeah. Yes. So any, anything else you'd like to share with everybody before we go off air? Um, just kind of like my life, I don't know how to say it in English, but believe in yourself, follow your dreams because everybody can do what I do. And even though it sounds like I do so much, you can do it and you can do anything no matter what. So don't let anybody tell you no or something. <laughs> and please watch my show because it's so much fun. Season two is amazing. <laughs> That's perfect and a perfect way to end a week. So thank you for being on and I will talk to you soon. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a thank great weekend. Thank you. You too. Bye.